Hello everyone and welcome back to my Linux tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on loops. So I'm going to talk about the while loop and the for loop. So the while loop is a control flow statement that gives us the ability to execute commands repetitively based on a given condition. So for this tutorial, I'm going to create two files. So I'm going to create a script file and a txt file and i'm going to put some data in that file so i'm going to use the touch command to do that so i'm going to say touch and the name of the file so it's going to be while dot sh and while i'm at it i'm going to give myself execution power using the chmod command so i'm going to say chmod 755 while dot sh and I'm also going to create a text file using the touch command as well. So touch. And the name of my text file will be text.txt. Now that I have my two files, I'm going to do a ls on the folder. And you can see I have my text.txt file and my while script. So my while.sh file. So for the text.txt file, let's do a cat on that file to display the contents of that file. And nothing shows because there is nothing in that file. So let's put some data inside of that file. So I'm going to use the echo command and single quotes. And I'm going to say this is line one. And I'm going to use the output operator to put data inside of the text.txt file. And I'm going to do this several times. So I'm going to say this is line two. I'm going to run it again and say this is line three. And I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to say this is line four. So now if I run a cat command again on that file, I should get this is line one through line four. So let's clear the screen. And let's go inside of the VI text editor to write the script. So while dot sh. So now inside of the text editor, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to hit I and then I'm going to put my shebang. So it's going to be slash USR slash bin slash ENV space bash. I'm going to create a variable called file. And I'm going to initialize file to dollar sign one. So that's the parameter that is coming in from the user. I'm going to put a space in between. And then I'm going to use the while loop. So I'm going to say while and I need my open bracket space. And I'm going to say dash E. So that's if the file exists and I'm going to use the variable file. And then I'm going to close off the while loop. So if the file exists, I'm going to put my do statement and I'm going to use the arc command to print the data inside of the file. So I'm going to say arc single quotes and then I'm going to use print keyword and I'm also going to close it off. So that means I want everything in that file to be printed. And then I'm going to use the name of the file. The name of the file, we're getting it from dollar sign one parameter. So I'm going to say file, which is our variable that we declared up here. So I use the dollar sign and the name of the variable, so which is file. And then I'm going to use the break keyword and then done. So what this script is doing is going to take the name of a file or any file that you gave it and it's going to print the contents inside of that file. So I'm going to hit escape colon WQ to save and I'm going to hit, hit enter. Then I'm going to run the command. So dot slash while dot sh and I'm going to give it the text file that we just created. So it's text dot txt and I'm going to hit enter and then it displayed the content of the text.txt file. You can also try just create several different files, put some data into that file, try running the script with the file that you just created. You also have the for loop and the for loop acts just like the while loop. It gives us the opportunity to execute commands repetitively as well. So let's create a script called for.sh and we can use the touch command to do that as well. So we can see touch for.sh and we're going to hit enter and let's do chmod 755 for.sh. And let's do an ls on the folder 
and you can see we have our script file for sh let's clear the screen using the clear command and let's go into vi and write some codes inside of the for sh so it's going to be for dot sh and the first thing inside of my file that i want to do is i want to input the shebang so i'm going to say hash exclamation mark slash usr slash bin slash env space bash i'm going to create a variable called i or a counter you can say count but for short form i'm going to say i and i'm going to initialize i to one so i is going to be the variable that goes through the loop or go through which file that you give it i'm going to use the first statement so i'm going to say for so i'm going to create a variable inside of the for loop and i'm going to say username and in inside of the for loop i want to use the arc command so i'm going to use the tick it's not a single code it's a tick so far left on your keyboard underneath the tilde symbol you should see the little tick sign and i'm going to use the arc command so i'm going to say arc and dash f and i'm going to give the colon for the delimiter and inside of the single code i want to use the print keyword and I want to print dollar sign one and dollar sign one means print the first column inside of that text file. And the dash F is the field delimiter. So the field delimiter we are looking for is the colon. So I'm going to end the print with the curly braces and the single quotes. And I want to get the information from the ETC password file, the ETC slash password is a plain text file and that file keeps record or keep track of the user on the system or the registered users on the system so i'm going to say slash etc slash p a s s w d so i'm going to end this line with the tick and i'm going to declare my do statement so i'm going to use the echo command to display the file so i'm going to say echo and let me see users and dollar sign i want the i variable so i'm could i could use double brackets you can use the brackets you can use the curly brackets or you can use the double parentheses so i'm going to use the double brackets and then i'm going to call the variable i or the counter so i plus plus and i also want the variable inside of the for loop that we declared called username so user name and i'm going to end it off with my double quotes so now i'm going to run the command so i'm going to say dot slash and the name of the file is for dot sh and hit enter i get back all the users that is on the system so i have root bin admin lp sync shutdown so those are stuff that is inside of my system you may get a different result that's all for this tutorial on loop and i will see you in the next tutorial